your God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Nine Eleven: A Case Study in Resonance The events of September 11, 2001 are horrible and unfortunately will always be remembered. I say unfortunately because as you keep horrific events in your mind, it only serves to attract and resonate with other horrific events in your experience, even if it is just a car accident or a lost opportunity. If people were able to forget the past when the past is negative, their present and future would be so much brighter. 9-11, however, does serve as a powerful case study in resonance because there are so many related stories and events that we can now look back on and study. Starting from the beginning, we know that everything from solid matter to situations and events are created from energy by their signature frequencies. Frequencies, as you recall, have the power to shape energy into certain resulting forms, physical and non-physical. Let's refer to the video example, Frequency Creates Shape, in the chapter on frequencies. In that example, there was a pile of rice in the middle of the square metal sheet that was in no particular form or shape. However, as the frequency began to vibrate the rice, it started forming a certain pattern for that frequency. While each different frequency had a different pattern, if you repeated the experiment with the same frequency again, the same exact pattern would form and emerge again. There are two important points to understand in regard to this example. First, the same frequency will always create the same exact pattern. And second, the pattern isn't clear at first. It takes time for the shape to form. If the power of the frequency were greater, higher volume, it would form much faster. If the power of the frequency, the volume, were lower, it would take longer to take shape. So while a certain frequency will form the same pattern every single time, the speed at which it takes shape can vary due to the power of the frequency or the volume and other circumstances. Next, in review, we know that while circumstances can be the same, their meanings can be different. An example, a building can be blown up and toppled to the ground, and that could be a good thing if you're building a new casino in that same location. However, a building could be blown up, resulting in loss of property and possible loss of life, and that would be a bad thing. It's all in the meaning and not in the circumstance or event. It is the meaning that has resonant quality. It is the meaning of a situation or event that is broadcast and transmitted to the universe. However, meaning isn't always quite as clear cut as those two examples. While the meaning of the blowing up of the second building resulted in a loss of property, meaning equals bad, to the contractor who will eventually get the job to build a new building, it would be a good meaning. So. In any given event or situation, there may be a thousand different meanings going on that are resonating in a thousand different ways to each of the observers who are each creating and establishing their own meanings for the exact same event. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. Now let's revisit the video examples of the dog that knew his owner was coming home. Remembering in the dog example, the dog resonated with the meaning of his 
owner was now on the way home. If you were able to ask him how he knew this, he might say, it was a gut feeling and I felt joy in my heart. Also, in that same video, Rupert Sheldrake said that cats know when their owners intend to take them to the veterinarian. No matter if the owner calls the vet from his work or in his car, by the time he gets home, the cat is nowhere to be found. So while the dog rejoices at the meaning that he has received, the cat panics at the meaning he has received. So if you were to ask the cat how he knew that there was going to be a problem, he might say, I just had a gut feeling that made me sick to my stomach. So if we look at these two examples of the dog and the cat to see what they have in common, we will notice that while their emotions were completely different, they were both heightened emotional responses, really great and really bad. In this next video example, you will learn about an organization that is called the Global Consciousness Project, also known as the EEG Project. They have deployed tiny little circuit boards all over the world to volunteers who are participating in this global experiment. These little devices are called REGs, which stands for Random Event Generators. These little devices randomly generate a number 1 or a number 0 in the same way that you would flip a coin and get heads or get tails. Just as you would expect, these little circuits normally average 50-50 ones and zeros, just like the odds you would get flipping a coin. Even though you would expect these hardwired computer circuits to always be consistent and generate the same results over and over again, it has been shown that they are affected by the world's emotional energy. When Princess Diana died, at her funeral, there was such a worldwide emotional feeling that the REG spiked in one direction rather than the usual 50-50 split. There have been several other occasions, such as disasters, which caused the same results. It was the heightened emotional level that affected the REGs, not whether the emotions were good or bad. Remember, it's not the level of emotion from one meaning, but all meanings together. Video example, World Consciousness Demonstrated. What is this video about? This video example is a short news clip about the Global Consciousness Project, GCP. It is run by a retired Princeton University scientist, Dr. Roger Nelson. He has deployed coin flipping, random event generators all over the world to monitor the consciousness of the world's population. Although these electrical circuits are normally consistent in that they are generating flips that average 50% ones and 50% zeros, on occasion they end up generating more of one than the other. In the last 10 years that the project has been in operation, there have been many world events that have caused a shift in these REGs from random to mostly ones or zeros. The explanation for this is that a rise in the emotional energy of the world influences these electrical circuits to polarize or line up and become less random. In the video example at 2 minutes and 10 seconds, Dr. Nelson comments that several hours before the first plane hit the World Trade Center, there was a significant spike or shift in the randomness of these devices. He further states that he doesn't know why this occurred before the event had even become known to the world. Clearly, the reason that there was a shift in the randomness before the first plane actually hit the tower is because the meaning and the frequency of the coming event was forming the circumstances of the event. Just like the frequency in rice example, even though the rice wasn't fully formed into the final pattern, you could hear the particular frequency, and if you are aware, you would know in your heart what pattern it is forming and you could respond at a subconscious or gut level. Like the sound of fingernails on a chalkboard, certain frequencies can make you queasy and even sick to your stomach without even knowing why. And like the cats, you respond and react automatically. Those REGs were noticing the automatic resonance response from a world population that was aware at some level of consciousness that something bad was coming.
For best results, pause this video at this point here, and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 5, Segment Number 32. Let your quest for knowing continue.